Hey guys, I'm Chris Buck and a very warm welcome to Friday Fretworks. On this week's video, I'm going to be taking a closer look at a rather special new guitar that I've just taken delivery of, and that is my Patrick James Ale Macon. I'm going to give you some brief background history on this guitar specifically, but also Patrick as a builder. It's funny, it was only really in the process of meeting Patrick and specking out this guitar that it sort of dawned on me, I guess, how long I've been aware of his name. You know, as a kid learning to play guitar, voraciously reading Guitarist magazine, anything to do with guitar that I can get hold of, remember reading countless references references to his name as this incredible guitar builder, reading, seeing adverts for his guitars and reading these incredibly effusive reviews of his instruments. On some subconscious level, at the very least, I've always been very much aware of who Patrick is and what he does. So you can imagine how cool it was that about six months ago, I became aware that through a mutual friend, Mr. Adrian Thorpe of Thorpe FX, became aware that Patrick was actually trying to get in contact with me to see if I would be interested in letting him build me one of his guitars. Never really lose sight of the fact that this is an incredibly fortunate, incredibly privileged situation to be in and, you know, an incredibly enviable one at that, I guess. So I'm very thankful that master craftsmen, master luthiers like Patrick give me these opportunities. So you can imagine with that in mind how quickly I find myself in his workshop, in his factory up in Oswestry, near the England-Wales border, not a million miles away from Liverpool, I guess being shown round and not being made to feel at all like the big Welsh nuisance that I was being, going round, you know, just being introduced to every part of the process, meeting the very small team of guys that are involved in making these instruments and just being in an incredibly cool position to go around and try and get to the bottom of what it was that I actually wanted built and what guitar or what wood I would like to see it comprised of. Multiple cups of tea later, we got to the bottom of, it was probably gonna be a make-on. Now, a make-on, it's no, no secret really, is very much inspired by a Les Paul. If you wanna see the other guitars that Patrick makes, do check out his website or any of the dealers in the UK or abroad. But I decided upon a make-on just because I guess if you watch Friday Fretworks at least semi-frequently, you'll probably be aware of the fact that over the last year, I've been very fortunate enough to have access to some very cool Les Pauls. A couple of 59 Bursts, you know, 57 Gold Top, just some Holy Grail guitars. And it's really reignited this fire that I had, this passion for Les Pauls that I was, you know, very much in love with when I was a kid, being the big Slash fan that I was. And it's kind of dwindled, I guess, in the past couple of years, you know, really be, being, becoming a Strat guy, being a Tele guy, being a Revstar guy. Sort of phased out a little bit, but really sort of reignited in the past year. So I decided that a make on was probably a bloody good shout.
So Patrick took me around, had me picking out the top, had me picking out the, the body material, every part of this, what type of inlays I would like, what type of finish, what color I would like, every part of this guitar, I was very much to feel like part of the process. Thankfully, not too much a part of the process. Probably the reason it's turned out so well is I had pretty limited involvement in actually making the thing. Um, but just honestly, you know, it's a very cool thing to be able to be part of the process. And obviously, there is a price tag attached to these guitars. But if you are in a position to buy one and you would like to be a part of that process, can't recommend it enough. It's worth every penny. Even more so in light of how bloody good this guitar is. Went up to pick it up last week and just honestly... It's just absolutely perfection. It's absolutely stunning. It plays beautifully. It sounds amazing. It weighs a really nice weight. It comes in at about seven and a half pounds. It's slightly chambered, but nothing too major. It's just an incredibly well-made guitar that is just resonant and beautifully made. In regards to the specs of this guitar, working from the top to the bottom, we have aged go to tuners, which really kind of match the sort of the age feel of this guitar, I guess. It's slightly worn in in every respect. Have an ebony fingerboard. Big fan of ebony fingerboards. Pretty much the darker you can get them, the happier I am. We've got a big fat C profile neck. Um, we've got a mahogany body with a maple top. The neck wood again is mahogany with a beautiful worn through finish on the back um, that just sort of gives it that played in feel and doesn't, you know, sort of catch your hand in sticky, hot, warm environments on a hot, sticky stage, you know. Uh, two humbuckers, obviously the neck humbucker being covered and the bottom one being uncovered, which gives it a bit of that sort of Jimmy Page vibe, I guess, which is very cool. Tunematic bridge, um, we've got an aged nickel hardware as well, which again, just gives it that slight sort of weathered feel. Um, the finish is actually a worn nitro finish, so see subtly in a couple of shots that there are some sort of nitro check-in which i love i just think it's a very cool sort of uh, again attention to detail on this guitar is absolutely staggering and hopefully that shows in the way it sounds i'm going to play you out now please do check out the uh, links in the below also by the way any shots in this video that look far too good for me to have actually shot them courtesy of chris a six string tail so i can get my words out do check out the actual video we've made a very cool little documentary about patrick and the process and his history which I shall link in the description box below. So, as ever, I've been Chris Buck. This is Friday Fretworks. Thank you very, very much for watching. And I shall see you next week for another video. Cheers, guys. Take care. See you soon. Thank you.